Hey guys, Stackazer 1331 back, bringing you the fourth round of the fifth random survival tournament. Well, that was a that was quite a lot. That was quite a last round to say the least. Let's see if this round will hold up to that, or if or if it'll just be cheat character after cheat character because I've had that before. Hmm, not too bad of a matchup. Really, really hoping Iceman can be Giga Bowser. You never know; it might be possible. Giga Bowser and Robo K versus Ken and Iceman. Man, what a beautiful combo that was. Holy jeez. Wow, Robo K is already dead, and Giga Bowser is well on his way out. Okay, I, I officially am liking the chemistry for these two already. That's it. Man, just like that. Giga Bowser and Robo K are down for the count of the round in the first round. That said, here comes round two. Holy freaking shit! I swear to God, if I make do this all by his lonesome, I'll be freaking impressed to the ends of the earth and then some. Iceman is holding his own, and then some. What the hell, man? And in an unbelievable turn of events, Iceman managed to hold it out for his side. Thus beating Giga Bowser and Robo K. 2-0. Wow. Hot damn was that freaking awesome. Man, and Iceman and Ken. I, ah, man, no, no problems there with this team, man. Yeah, man. I'm gonna, hopefully, hopefully we shall see some great things from them. I hope so, too. I mean, hey, they're already off to a great start by beating Giga Bowser. I mean, Iceman essentially did that all by himself. So, holy crap. If he can do that kind of stuff to Giga Bowser, then there's no telling what he well, what there's no telling what he can't do. That said, I'll cue them up. We have Razor Claws and Squall. Oh, this is gonna be a decent one. This actually should be pretty good, especially if Razor Claws on his A game. Then this should be a very good match. What the heck, man? Look at that! Beautiful Super Show Yukon from Ken. And Squall officially seals the deal right there with, with, with his multi-hit sword combo attack. And a nice win for Ranger Claws and Squall, and, the, and the, that'll be a nice way to carry them to the second round. Oh man, they're just ripping him right now. Holy freaking shit, what a combo that was. And a damn near falls ranking for Ken and Iceman. What the freaking heck, man? What, what a nasty comeback that was from them. Man, what a way to be carried into the third round. And another beautiful looking comeback right now, man. Like, that was like, what, like, 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 that kind of string of comboing. Actually, I'll mention it a little later. That's it. Man, and a convincing win overall for Ken and Iceman. Taking down Razor Claws and Squall, 2 to 1. Man. Now, for what I was going to say earlier, the way these two string combos, I can't believe I'm making this comparison, but if you've ever seen Top Kirby's Battles and you've seen the team um, he calls Shadow Mora, which composes of Howl Mora and Shadow Man, some of the way these two Ken and Iceman have been stringing combos have been almost identical to Shadow Maru, which that is freaking scary. That is like scary good right there. Oh, man, I I just didn't expect them to string again, string combos together so like so fluidly. Like I'm 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 astounded by that, but but in a good way.
Well, that's it. Let, 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 let's see if they can have their third win. Hakuman and Psychopath Kyo. These two, these two could prove to be a good challenge, especially if Psychopath Kyo and Hakuman are both on their A game. Wow. Man, this is turning out to be quite an explosive battle so far. Yeah, he's done. Nope, never mind. Nope, he's done now. Nope. Not, not a bad effort, but just not good enough, man. Can a knife man take that around pretty nicely? Here comes the second and presumably maybe the final round. <laughs> nice. Oh wow, wow, be be beautiful twirly, um, uh, twirling firestorm. Or a fire tornado, rather. That's what I should have said. Damn it. How come he's already freaking dead? What the heck, man? Oh, wow, wow. Coco Bay attack got interrupted. Oh, man. Kyo and Hakuman did so well, but it just was not good enough. And, th and, and thus ends Psycho Kyo and Hakuman being beaten by Ken and Iceman 2-0. I love how everyone, I love how like both of them were, were doing the thumbs up. That's actually kind of funny. Man, these two are almost exactly like Shadow Moro. If you get caught in their string of convos, or actually not even just Shadow Moro, it's even like Strider Goat as well, which is Goat and Strider Hero. If you get caught in any of their convos, your health will just get drained to nothing. Man, I never thought I would see like a normal duo that would have this kind of prowess. Like I never thought I'd see something like this. I'd expect it to be someone from, like, I don't know, like, Ronald McDonald and, like, um, and, like, you know, a slightly weaker character that can still kind of get the job done. But no, it's with Ken and Iceman. Jeez. Man, this is, this is, this is, man. Ah, there's, like, a number of duos I can think of that are, that are quite, that are just like these two, but, uh, man, I don't know. It would take too long to mention them. At any rate, let's see what these two can do next. Oh, no. Crazy hand in Magneto. Like, you know, holy shit. Now, don't be fooled by Magneto's appearance. He could still lose to these two. And I'm really hoping he does. Because he deserves to lose. Little some bitch. My god, that is just so fucking cheap. Oh no, he came so close. Ken's already almost gone. Oh man, Magneto wasn't even touched. Well, just barely, I should say. Well, it was seen that way until Iceman finally hit him. Uh, not much of a surprise there. Oh, I was so hoping that they would they, they would make something out of that, but just, nah, it's just, no. 
And, and, and um, I kind of forgot how many battles it's been so far, so depending on how it is, um, uh, I'll either just end this round here, or if it's before six battles, I'll let it go on a little longer. So, hold on just a sec. Okay, uh, since it's only been a few, uh, since it's only been, um, this'll, this'll mark, this was the fourth battle, so... I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start with a new set of duos and see how long it'll go from there. So uh, so all right, well so I'll start up a new set of duos in just a bit. Yeah, the other reason is that yeah, I I mean even even characters like guts, I continue now, but not freaking Magneto, because I'm telling you it's the damn shield that ruins it for me and the fact that he just like stays up in the air and just spams his attacks and literally just magnetizes you towards him and there's like no way, there's almost no way to counter that at all. You just have to be an expert at just hitting from below. Which, oddly enough, the Sailor Moon characters do a good job of that as well as the Donalds. That's another set of characters that can really put Magneto and Storm in their place. But at any rate, now let's see what new duos we can get this time. There's Lightning. Usually he gets screwed, so let's see what happens. Ah, Basara! Oh, wow! For once, he actually gets a good partner. Orochi and, Bas and Lightning against Basara and Puppets. is holding his own like the best he can, but no, he got killed by Orochi. Oroch! Ah, yes, gotta love that. Wow, nice one. He actually got a Roshi with that. I'm impressed. Oh, man. They did so well, too. Wow. Oroch. That's right. Winner is indeed a Roshi. Now, I hate to say it, but I think even a Roshi is a better choice to continue than Magneto. And I actually am going to continue a Roshi and Lightning because... It's most likely going to take a good duo that will be able to go on anyway to beat them, so that's why I, that's why I actually will let them go on. Um, I'll, I'll let them have some fun. So at any rate, stay tuned for Orochi and Lightning coming up in just a bit. Well, here's Orochi and Lightning. Let's see what sort of madness um, uh, will fall on their plate. Thor and Malin. Yeah, sorry I didn't sound quite as excited as because as soon as he's going like, oh my god, who's he with? And it's like, oh, it's just Malin. Yeah, that one's already dead. That's it. And an, and an, and an easy win for them in the first round. Crushing defeat for them overall. And a nice easy 2-0 victory for Orochi and Lightning. Yeah, expect to see a lot of those, unless Mugen is really in that mood where they'll give challenging duos. But, yeah, you're not to a great start game in terms of giving them challenging duos. Just saying. At any rate, let's see what will happen next. Oh, wow. A Necro, and I think that is Cordelia as well. Yes, Necro and Cordelia. That was right. Necro's already freaking dead. What the fuck?
Oh, man. I hate it, too, because if that were the last little order with Cornelia's moves, I think they could have maybe done something, but we'll see. We got one more round left to go. Wow, Cordelia's already dead. Damn. Yeah, I, uh, I wish they could have done something better. Come on, Bujin. Of course, this is like the one time where I actually want Moo to give him challenging duos, and the game being its usual, usual cruel bastard self, it's not, it's just, it's just not going to give me them. Ah, way to go, game. At any rate, let's see what'll happen next. Oh, wow. Finally, you give a good challenge. Tin Star and Opera Elmer. Holy shit, I'll be excited if these two win. They'll probably still lose, but holy crap, if Tin Star can get a good set of moves in, then yeah, these two are done. Yeah, that's what I mean. As soon as you get some of those moves in there, yeah, they're, they're, oh no, not this time. Here comes round two. Yeah, yeah, I'm just dead. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hyper train finish for for Upper Elmer and Ten Star. I'm going to love these two if, if these two actually get a win, but we still got one more round left to go. Uh huh. Uh, I know. Oh no, they're gone! Orochi and Lightning are still in this thing! Wow. Man, 10 star offer Elver, you did so well. Man, I I cannot fault you for losing in this case. You did so well. You're so far the first team to beat these two in at least a round. Which, come on, Mujin. Please start giving more people like that! Again, I won't feel so bad if they freaking. If they get like a 2 1, I'm just tired of getting seeing so many 2 zeros. Ah, but at any rate, enough of my griping. Let's see what'll happen. Spider Carnage and Rare Akuma! That is it, guys. This round will officially draw to a kick ass close. That's right, Rare Akuma. Rare Akuma, I choose you! I know, I, ha I had to say that. I'm sorry. It's the intro that, that made me do it. Oh boy. I think a Rochi might be might be frozen. Actually no, he isn't, he's still blocking. Web throw KO finish. Da, da, na, 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 na. And it looks like Spider Carnage's body has Rarakuma's head! Well, okay, that could not have been timed. That could have not have been placed any better. I'm loving this. Roji's down.
and a glorious victory for Rare Kuma and Spider Carnage. That's right, that's right, you crack that earth in half, or I should say in a, uh, in a quarter, I guess. At any rate, at any rate, that, that being said, though, that, 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 that was a nice, that was, a, that was nice to see. And, a, and, and a very, and a very cool way to end, end this round as a whole. Wow. <laughs> that could, that could not have been timed any better, I think. But at any rate, that, 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 that was a pretty fun round to watch overall, and that said, Stay tuned for the fifth round of the fifth random survival tournament coming up soon.